we've had an arduous trek, trek trying to get to this site today. This is St. Peter's, uh, above Brunner, uh, Lambeder, and we're just going to start from the stone. We're going to head down. I haven't been to this site for years. There's snow on the ground, as everyone can tell. So I haven't been to this site for a long Video 2, St. Peter's Church. Let's just have a little bit of a scan of what we can see. Entering in through the porch. A load of gravestones in the porch. Going directly into the nave now. Quite a large nave really. These little holes here, pat log holes for scaffolding. Um, no real uh, features of windows on view, unfortunately. Scanning around entirely back through the porch to where there would have been a high window um, at the uh, western end. Obviously made into a doorway at some time. So we want to swing back around into the chancel. A large lad chance for all really. An entrance on the right for the clergyman. This is where um, somewhere around here the electron cross was found by um, by Eric Talbot's excavation team. And this site is owned by the um, Wonderful historians Brackett and Wilson. Unfortunately, the local farmer doesn't care for Brackett and Wilson's enthusiasm for the church, and the local farmer no doubt has um, made this site really inaccessible for people to visit. There was a fence around just protecting this, but the farmer we know took it down. And I can blame the farmer again for stopping people having access to this church and um, dissuading people coming here because of its association with King Arthur and we'd like to say criticism of the farmer is not archaeology company policy but uh, my criticism of the farmer built up over years of knowledge and what I experienced a few years ago the farmer has deliberately um, prevented people from coming to the property of Blackett and Wilson um, and aiding in the site's destruction. Shame on him. Um, and as an archaeologist, shame that uh, my fellow archaeologists have ignored the work of Blackett and Wilson for too long. This is Carl James Atford, St Peter's Church within a beautiful landscape. 